How do you catch a goose? Look at this one. Oh, there. Pull it around. What in the She's world? She's trying to bash me. So you don't you want to That's... get it around like that. So she can't come while you drop that. You can you usually slip that leg over that wing to control it. We're not going back. Is it illegal? Gotcha. It's illegal to harm geese. Geese may be harassed or scared away. Okay. What do I do with a goose? Hmm. Hey, you ready to go? Yeah. Cool. yeah. Let's go get our goose. kind of activity with them? No, we haven't no. seen anything. Don't get me. Do you want to try bamboo on peekaboo's side for a little bit? I guess we could. Let's see what he does over there. If he gets in the mood. Not sure who bamboo prefers, but it's not up to him, it's up to the girl. So if we put him with peekaboo, we can see if there's any different behavior. We can always move him back in with cashew later. I know, it's not your name on this house. So we've had a goose that has been hanging out by our pond for the last couple weeks and we've seen other geese come and go. We've seen gaggle of geese fly overhead every few days. So we want to investigate it, get closer to this goose, see what's going on, see if this goose is heard, if it's it's really not the season for them to be laying eggs and hatching out babies. They typically do that in the spring here. So I just want to see what's going on, figure out what's going on with this goose. We have ducks down here on the pond. We have five ducks over here on the pond. There. On the other side right now, over by the grebe that's been staying at our pond. And so Green Lantern, Webby, Debbie, Squeakers and Quackers are all over there. They're actually heading out to the middle right now. And I see the goose over on the far side. Let's see if we can get closer. First casualty with our drone. Thought I was clear of everything in these reeds over here. I was flying low to the goose and it got caught right in the reeds. Right now it's sitting right out here. Let me see. Right there. Right by. It's right in the water. I need to get my waders on. Go out and get the drone. It was freezing temperatures this morning. A lot of frozen water. I'm partially froze. Hopefully I can get out here and recover this before it's too late. Right now I can't really move. I see the water moving on the picture by the drone. I just can't see it. Okay, that's better. Not yet. I gotta go to a different angle. I see it. I see the light. It's out of the water. Good. I just gotta get out of here. Look at these reeds. Oh my god. Oh. Stuff gets in your mouth and it's disgusting. Ugh. So gross. All over my lips. Ugh. Oh my god. Drone was alright. Drone wasn't in the water at all. Oh. 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 All over me. So gross. Oh. Alright, well, I'm gonna try one more time here. Check up close to the goose and 
sure our drone's going all right. So this bird is definitely favoring its left wing. It's hanging down when it's offshore. We're gonna check over here and see if we can get any closer, but I think it's gonna keep going out to the middle. We may have to set up a trap for this bird tomorrow. I almost had it trapped offshore, and I was gonna come in and walk its way back to the water. I think we would have had a good chance to possibly catch it since it can't fly away, but Joey came running around, jumped out, scared the goose back into the water. Eli, what do you think we need to do? Get the boat out and then bring some nets and then we can go after it to catch it. What do you want to do? Um, I hear Walt drive over there, scare it out. Yeah, you scare it out. You can take the camera with you. We've got this netted area in here and we're going to put a bunch of feed right here in the back. Hopefully that all the tractor back here. And then we'll come in from around the corner. We'll have her trapped and we'll catch her with a net. That's the plan. What's the plan when we catch her, Becky? I don't know. So we've talked about just inspecting the bird to see what the injury is. Probably a left wing injury. If it's something that doesn't look too bad, we could probably just let her stay here, feed her a little bit, hopefully rehabilitate her so she can fly away. If it looks pretty bad, like we can see a physical deformity, then we might take her to a vet, see if they can help um, treat the bird. And if it's something where it looks like it could be an issue, we, we could always rehome her to, to somewhere else, a, a more public place that's not our private property. But uh, we'll just, we'll take a look and we'll go from there. Well, we ran out of time. It got too dark. She's over swimming around with the duck. She has food over there inside the netted area. I'm hoping she'll get used to that. Get her comfortable with going over there. We'll have to try it a little earlier in the day, so. But at least we have the netting set up, so hopefully we can work on that tomorrow. River's gonna crop when you're going, 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 going. River's gonna crop when you're going, 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 going. River's gonna crop when you're going, going. The other day we cleaned a bunch of the chickens' feet um, with them. They had those mites on their feet and some of the bumblefoot. This one, she is very special to us. She's one of our original chickens, Dove, and her toes look terrible which her foot looks a lot better. Well, I soaked them in vinegar and then put Vaseline on it. And this toe looks so bad though, still. And then I'm gonna have to wrap her toe. We'll get some more bandage and put some antibiotic on it. You hold on to it? Yes. All right. Goose. So we had our boat put away for the winter and now we had to get it out again. So strapped it on the back of the UTV and now let's get it back in the pond. So the goal was simple, get the goose out of the pond. After about an hour of riding around in circles, 
we finally got her to take a step out of the pond and walk to the far side off of the dam. With the boat in there, she wasn't able to run back in. Then she started to move towards the forest, something we didn't want to see. Go around, go around, go all the way around it to the other side. Okay, we gotta wait for mom, hang on. Don't push too close, don't push too close. Hang on. That's not good. That's not good. It's walking down the hill. Gotta go down, but you gotta get way down further. You gotta get way down further. I'm, I got this side. Ah, it's going down the hill. It's gonna get stuck down there. It's on the side, side of this hill. It's gonna come back up, it's coming back up, Becky. Oh, walking down, okay, it's walking down further. Go, go way down on the outside, go way down. Okay, it's gonna come out. Eli, you ready? Oh man. It's coming back out. Almost, good try. <clears throat> Got it. Got it. Okay, let's get... She has a tag on her. Tag, what does that mean? This one had quite an injury on its wing here. What do you think happened to it? Ooh, it's it's like broken. The wing looks to be broken. Right it's just hanging. Broken lit wing right here. The side is kind of gassed right here. Like it got hit on the wing and the side. So maybe hit something flying. And it's actively actively bleeding still. And but we've noticed that it has a tag on it. So what should we do next, Becky? I think I, we can clean it up and then we should call the conservation mm -hmm. department, see if they are interested in yeah. taking it. That's what I would do. Your hand is bleeding right on this side. Yeah, it's bleeding. I wasn't sure who to talk to, but we have a Canadian goose that's injured and it's got a tag on it. And so I didn't know if there was anyone we need to talk to about it or... Yeah, it's got a it's got a broken wing, yeah. We have, uh, we had already talked to a local wildlife department person. They advised us to put it down, but they said something about your clinic. And so I wasn't sure if that was something, if you'd have any interest in looking at the bird or if it's something you were, you just advise us to do the same. Well, we've got some bad news and some good news. We talked to our local Department of Conservation. They wanted us to put this bird down. They said when people find them at their place and they're this badly injured, they typically just want them put down. And so they were gonna issue us a permit to be able to do that. But they also said we could take it to a vet clinic and that they might be able to check it out and repair it and somebody might be able to rehab and we just called the vet clinic and they said they could take the bird and so we're going to take it over there see what they can do if they can possibly save this goose's life you pooped on me jake hey. oh man sorry Becky. like that's really hot what is that it just happened oh man that oh barely fits is he upside down we're gonna take care of you okay we're gonna take this bird in let's go Hey, my name is Jake. I brought the goose in yesterday evening. Uh -huh. I just wanted to see if I could get an update on how the goose was doing. Yeah, let me just check hold on the thing out. Hold on. Sure. The goose is doing good. He does have a broken left wing. Um, but there's no reason at this point for us to think that he's, he's not going to have a full recovery. 
we're just still waiting on confirmation to see if they're, when they're gonna coordinate to get him picked up. Awesome! They said he's gonna make it. And he's a he. Becky, did you think we were ever gonna catch that goose? I did not think we were gonna catch that. Almost, good try. Got it! Is that pretty exciting? Yeah. Yeah! That was quite an adventure. See you guys next time.